An easy clue to start off the video, and a pretty good one at that. The Zamorak Rope Top. I think that's the first Rope Top I've got, and they're worth quite a lot. I didn't expect them to have so much value, to be honest. I wanted to see what kind of XP rates I could get here, and I'm paying pretty decent attention. And I'm getting about 62k, which means it's about 12k XP an hour more than what I get at Relica. So I think just for the short term, is like, as in just getting to 85 I think I'm going to use Priftinus, uh, and then once I'm 85, I'll probably go to RD. Okay, so that's interesting. If you look in my chat box, you'll see that I got a 104 p new personal best, even though my previous personal best was a 104. Alright, hopefully this is going to be the level. Maybe? Me? No. Okay. Alright, here we are. Never mind. Three XP, dude. Come on. Right, please come. There we go. Eighty-two agility, dude. I just got a five thousand XP drop making these. That's crazy. Is that the chest? That is the chest. What's the check? Is that my count? You have never opened the chest. Well, let's change that. Ooh, I get. I just profited crystal shards, dude. What the hell? Crystal acorns. Oh, I forgot these existed. There's a you can grow a crystal tree, can't you? Okay, I'm gonna have to look that up because I have I completely forgot that these existed. Right, and what are we gonna get from the last one? So it turns out these extra seeds that I got from Zora I can actually give to this guy. You're about to trade one weapon seed for one crystal acorn. Yes, and don't ask again. Cool. I do have a trowel now. Nice, and I can plant this. And apparently, the type of compost you use affects it. So. Let's chuck on the ultra compost and yeah, come back, well, tomorrow I guess. Right. Okay, so it is the next morning and the tree is grown, so I think I can just check the health of it. Cool. 13k XP, that's pretty good. So do I chop it? Pardon me. I chop it down, I get 16 shards. Not bad. That's pretty good for every 8 hours. Alright, I went and collected the uh, shade robes because I think I mentioned that I wanted to do this a while ago to fill out this, but then I just uh, forgot. Yeah, uh, it literally took me four kills, so I thought, hey, may as well. What do they look like? Oh, it's literally just priest. I thought it may have been like ghostly, but oh well. Uh, use the shade top on there. Nice, and now that is a full fancy dress box. I also recently built this, because I forgot that this existed, the, the toy box over here, and I was going to fill it, and then I realized it automatically fills from Django. Um, also, I just don't have any of the birthday things, so I don't think I've done a birthday event. I also don't have this, but I think I have to buy that from Django, so I might go do that now, actually. But yeah, I, I kind of want to fill these out on... That is a pretty sexy drop, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Sherlock time, my favorite time. Two Sherlocks in one clue, it's just beautiful. All right, let's see what we get from the two Sherlock clue. Let's hope Sherlock has blessed it. Uh, not really. Oh wait, never mind. That is actually the last Saradomin page that I needed. Uh, that's kind of cool. It's not a very useful book, but it's nice to... Uh, rule it off. Uh, only one more book to go. Then uh, then we're finished. Only one more page even. And here is another elite clue from Zora. Let's hope for some more Sherlock steps. Uh, just got this clue step that requires the split bark body. I still don't have it. I only have the legs so I guess it's off to Chaos Fanatic. So this is uh, not the drop I was expecting to get, but it is a pretty cool drop. I would like to get the Odium Shard one day, or the Odium Ward one day, so having the Shard helps. Thankfully a much quicker grind with a Blowpipe rather than a Rune Crossbow, but here is the Split Bark body, so let's go do that clue. I feel like this has to be quite a rare drop. A Rune Spear from an Armadil Guard, That's that's got to be something, surely. Alright, I've got myself a hard and an elite casket here. Let's see if we can get anything good from from the hard. Ah, uh, it's decent, some good Alex. And the elite is not very special, to be fair. And this is 500 Zora KC. I know I'm not the driest, but I would like to see the Magic Fang at some point. 
Right, so I've been fishing some crow ones and I got 78 fishing, but I didn't notice because I'm not really playing this account. I'm mostly just AFKing while I play on my main, which uh, if I switch over, you can see I got the Drake's Tooth, which, I mean, on my main, I'm not okay with that. That's 60k that could have been one mil for the Drake's Claw, but on my Iron Man, that would be the coolest pair of boots in the game. The Devout Boots look amazing, and you cannot argue with me on this. That is just a fact. So I am mildly upset. Hey, look, sand. It looks like a large pile of sand. Examine the sand. A large pile of sand. You know what? I don't know what I expected. I am going to do something that might seem like heresy, and that is I am going to cancel my Hydro Task. Because uh, I do not like the boss. I have hit 200 KC, and I'm okay with that. Oh, oh, sorry, I just saw a whole bunch of skulls, and I was like, oh, is there really going to be PKs straight away? No. Uh, Hellhound Task. Uh, this is normally pretty shit, and I'll probably skip it, but I know that the the dudes that you need to kill with Vetian, they count on a Hellhound task, and I think you need to kill four of them. Uh, so this is like 50 Vetian kills, if I can actually be willing to do that. So I'm going to look up that and maybe go for these. I'm probably not going to bother taking the Slayer Helm, though, just for the little dudes, but it's, a, it's an excuse to kill Vetian, get myself that dragon pick. Is a skeleton task. Do we go back to Vetian? <laughs> I've got some uh, some good news, and as you might be able to see, I got a mysterious emblem. But the more important news is that I was playing with the Runelite settings, and I now have the chat timestamp so that tells me the day, month, and year that a message was sent, which I think is really valuable information, and I'm glad it's. I'm glad it's something that we can put on Runelight, because I think this has really enhanced my experience of playing Rune, RuneScape, that uh, people can now see how far behind I actually am with videos, uh, which, is, which is wonderful. Also, when I got my emblem, this dude just strolled up. I think he's meant to, like, wander the entire Rev Caves, but I've only ever seen him in the Ice Giant room, and... He's been here every time I've been to the Ice Giant room, but yeah, when I got my emblem, I literally can I can just give it straight to him. There is zero risk. <laughs> it's great. I, I literally got it and was like, oh, hey, look, and gave it to him, and he was like, cool, there you go, have 50,000 points. I was like, sweet. This uh, red spider's task is a, is a pretty nice task, because you can get yourself a whole load of red spider's eggs. Also, I managed to get myself two emblems, and another also... What the fuck happened to the price of M 66k? What is this? I swear to god they were like 150 last time I did Wildy Slayer. Oh dear. So I'm a dumbass and forgot to press record, but I just got a Chaos Elemental task and I'm doing 35 of them because I'm an idiot. Uh, it'll be a lot nicer with the Slayer bonus, so that's at least something. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if flinching it or uh, just tanking it with a blowpipe will be better. I'm going to have to look into it, but I I really should do all 35 because I want the dragon pick plus the pet cute, so. All right, I regret my choice, but I'm going to stick to it. I'm determined to get these kills. I decided to come bank because I tried to find a different way of luring him or another place to safe spot him that's a bit uh, closer and a bit, uh, like, it's still a flinching spot, but, like, closer and a bit safer. Uh, so I took a lot of damage, but I also got an emblem, so it's kind of not a bad time to bank. I also, um, remembered that this thing exists. The Crystal Halberd actually has even better stats than the Darax Axe. It has 122 slash 142 instead of 150 and 129. This is with the rest of my gear as well, but you, yeah, the, the, it's still better, and since the uh, the thingy-majig, the, the big purple cloud, isn't weak to anything in particular. I don't really care what attack style I use. And the Crystal Halberd has a spec, uh, which is going to make things slightly quicker. I don't think I need to take more. Um, but yeah, I'm going to refresh my stats and take the Crystal Halberd out there and see how it goes. All right, so far I have 100% accuracy. Never mind, we're down to 50, but what I really want to see is... 
how good the spec is. Okay, we hit a 12. Nice. Uh, we're gonna hit bigger than that. I can feel it. This thing can hit up to like 100. Okay, that's, that's, that's a bit better. We're, we're, we're going up. So this time we hit a 60-60, yeah? You know what? I'm not gonna complain. It's doing better than the axe was doing. I just had to show you this. Look, oh, that is... What was that? 95 damage? And then the next spec, it wasn't as good, but it's still like... It was 50... 60? 57. That's a... That's pretty good. In case people are curious, when I came here, I had a... About 1991, I think, charges. So I've used about 200 charges to get 10 kills. Uh, which is not too bad, I don't think. I think that's okay. Uh, still got 22 left in the tasks. So I'm still going to be here for a, for a bit longer. But the Crystal Halberd really has speeded up, sped up, sp spowed up the, uh, the kill times. No, you don't. You no, know, I don't want you there. I don't want to be out front. Please, please say I can get him unstuck from there. <gasps> we are getting out of the wilderness, dude. <laughs> yes! Oh my god, that's so lucky. That's a 1 in 256 drop, dude. I was I was doing the maths when I went to the toilet, and I was going like, oh, this is going to take me like five or six tasks if I get uh, like lucky with it. Like, this is going to take me a long time to get, but there is the dragon pickaxe. Ooh, that's really nice, dude. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Right, that's going to be so good for uh, raids. Um, because, like, obviously in the Guardian's room, it, it actually uses the stats of your dra of your, your pickaxe, and the rune pickaxe is dog shit. So, yeah, I've got a dragon pickaxe now. Yeah, I don't think I really need to do Chaos Ellie, so let's see what we're going to get. Fire Giants. For that shit that I chatted about what the dragon upgraded kit looks like, I'm going to take that back and I'm going to buy it. Uh, I decided that it, I don't think it's going to be worth getting the crystal pick because all I'm really going to use it for is Volcano and Motherload Mine. So, oh, the pick. I do think this looks pretty cool.